Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play series for Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Uh, let's do a quick team recap. Here in the Poker Cemetery, we have Nero at level 43, our Charizard with Slash, Rage, Swift, and Ember. We have Dragoon the Dragonair at level 49. With Thunderbolt, Bubble Beam, Thunder Wave, and Body Slam. Next, we have Randy, our starter, the Weezing, level 43. With Tackle, Smog, Smokescreen, and Sludge, opting not to teach it self destruct. We have Doctor Strange, the Alakazam, at level 45. Psychic, Reflect, Psybeam, and Recover. We have Doe, the Dodrio, at level 43. Drillpeck, Growl, Fury Attack, and Fly. And lastly, we have Sandy, the Sandslash, at level 44. With Slash, Sand Attack, Cut, and Dig as the moveset. So the last episode, we completed the Police Headquarters, and we are almost through with the Poker Cemetery. Just got to battle these police officers to reach Mr. Bank. Okay, Nine Tails or 41. So yeah, I was starting to see some level 40s appear, so. But they're probably not going to get much higher, so they're considerably weaker than the area we just completed. Which is a bit surprising, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Nero grew to level 44. Uh, yeah, we're not staying in against a Kingler. I have Dragoon. Kingler's special is arse. So a Thunderbolt probably would kill it in one. Oh yeah! Go Dragoon! Okay then. This can't be happening! He runs away. Never known police to run away like that. I'm gonna switch around. Bring you over here. I'm just gonna lead up. Ah, oh, there's only this one battle, so let's use Dragoon. <laughs> Who knows, he might even reach level 50 during this battle. We shall see. Haunter. Let's see what Thunderbolt does. Ooh, oh, well, that was a crit. Well, to be fair, I think another Thunderbolt might finish out. It might leave it at 1 HP. If I'm unlucky. Yeah, it did. And it lands the confusion. Uh, right, um, Bubble Beam. Let's go, come on. Damn it. And then he lands the hypnosis. Uh, Dream Eaters, wow, wow. That's annoying. Oh wait, I have an awakening, don't I? I picked up an awakening in the last episode. Uh, where is it? There it is. Nope. There. But we're also going to heal first. Because, yeah, level 42, it would have killed me with, with that Nightshade had I just gone for the Awakening. Now we use it. We wake up. Thank God that missed. Come on, land it, land it, land it. Yes! Will Bubble Beam work? Oh yeah! Crit hit Bubble Beam. And level 50 Dragoon. Awesome! Yeah, I'm going to switch. Um, what's a Randy out there? It's a shame you're not a fairy type just yet. Because Randy would have a field day here. Sludge! Land the poison. Mm, minimize could be a pain. I mean, he's still going to lose health through this, but... And we land Sludge again. Oh, come on. 
mean, you're still going to lose health. I don't have an awakening either. Oh. I'll have the poker flute to look forward to, though, so that shouldn't be too bad. Double slap's got absolutely nothing. Might survive one more turn. Really? Double slap again. Oh, come on. Okay. That was a little unexpected, but hey, we still got the win. Um, I can't do anything to a Haunter. So let's change. The Doe. Doe needs some training. Drop it. Boom. Goodbye. Muck. We know what happened the last time we kept Doe out against a Muck. So I'm going to switch out and send in Nero. Who could use a bit of extra training. How much is Slash going to do? It's probably going to be a crit. That was a crit. That's a little troubling. As long as we continue to land crits, we'll be okay though. Yeah. Please not slash. Please not slash. Yes. Oh yeah. Goodbye, muck. You stupid rocket. You're not getting away with this. Runs away. Leaves the man they were hired to guard completely unprotected. What do you want? Where did my guards go? Please, I don't want trouble. All I have is a poker flute. Fine, I will give it to you. Just don't hurt me. And, wow, these guys don't even say anything about it. James, please do not hurt me. Just take this and leave. I got a poker flute. Upon hearing poker flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. I have nothing left. Aww. Okay, let's go heal up, and then we're going to get our two Snorlax encounters. Because there is one in... There's one in the town with the uh, casino. I can't remember the light. Geldmar? Geldar? Something or other, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. All I know is there are two Snorlax encounters to deal with. And that is where we are going to go right now. Starting this way, because this will take you straight to the first one. So let's go, go, go. If the Marowak was level 30, I think the Snorlax here is also going to be level 30. Which is a shame, because it's not going to be... I mean, it, Snorlax takes a good while to train up. So, uh, I'm probably not going to end up using it. I mean, especially considering my levels are considerably higher. That's if I don't kill it. I actually have to be worried about killing a Snorlax if I want to catch it. When normally we're worried about it killing us. Okay, here we are. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Time to whip out the Poker Flute. Gotta love those sultry tunes. Okay, what level is this Snorlax going to be? Level 30. Okay, so it's the same level as it normally is. Thunder Wave. Just get paralyzed. Okay. Oh, no, my physical's higher. Ooh, well. Will it live a bubble beam? I'm 20 levels high. Oh, wow, it did. I'm 20 levels higher as well. 
Come on, great ball. One, two, three. Just like that, we catch the Snorlax. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Yeah, we're going to nickname you. What to call you, though? Hmm. I'm going to call you Paul. Just because he looks like a Paul. Jelinaville, that's the name of the place. There is another encounter here, and I'm fairly sure it leads to a gym. Whether... Now, here's a question, though. Is that gym going to be even higher levels than the first gym we could access in the town, or is this one going to be lower? I don't know. Only one way to find out, and that is to get rid of this Snorlax. So let's do that. And it'll be very easy to get rid of the Snorlax here. I mean, 20 levels below. You ain't got nothing. Except rest. But it's going to stay asleep for two turns. Two body slams. Game over. I mean, it's tanky. I mean... I'm 20 levels higher and it's still taking a couple of hits to beat it, but still. Bye bye. Snorlax defeated. Let's go, go, go. Follow the long, windy road. Um, how long is this path? Ah, here we are. There's the gym. Oh. Ah, oh, this is Erica's gym. And the one we were in looked like Koga's, so... I think this might be a lower level. Let's see what we got. What do we have to deal with in here? I'm going to be throwing Nero and Doe straight at everything in here. Okay, Gloom. Level 40. Okay, we have got this. Oh, wait, we've got Randy up front. Um, we'll start with Randy. That's not very effective and it still bashes it. Pearl Dance, you've got... It's not going to do anything. I'm bulky. Oh wait, this goes off my special, doesn't it? But still, I resist anyway. Goodbye, Gloom. Level 44 for Randy. We're going to switch. I'm going to send Doe in because Doe's level 43. I think he's the last one of my level 43s. Draw back. Bye bye. Could probably clear this gym in this episode, actually. Maybe. Depends on the level of the. Well, depends on how many trainers I've got to battle. I'm going to switch, put Nero in for. I might be able to get Nero to get Flamethrower. Just train Nero in the gym. Because we can't one-shot anything in here. It's only got Ember. And that's a real problem. Because I mean, Gloom's going to live quite a few hits. Or not. A crit. A crit, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, Nero. Do I have any antidotes? No, I do not. Great. So, I'm going to go back and heal. I'm going to fly because it takes forever. Uh, Jelinaville. Plus, I didn't use the Pokemon Center in here, so if I use Dig to leave the gym... I'd end up all the way back in Laramar Town. Which is just a pain in the ass. Okay, all healed up and ready to go. 
let's get to the gym, shall we? Um, thinking. Could probably use some items, healing items wise. We are gonna start here by selling some stuff. So I have nuggets. Okay, super potions. Let's get about 10 of them. Antidotes. About five will do. I see will get about five of them. Just in case, because ice heals are, well, I mean, if anything free, I mean, I know, I don't think Koga's gym will have anything that can freeze me, and I don't think Erica's gym will have anything that can freeze me, or whatever the names are in this game, but still, it is a little worrying that I can only be defrosted by being hit by a fire type move or use an ice heal of like full heal kind of thing. So I'm a little cautious about ice types. Not that I'm probably going to fight one in this episode. Those heals are for future reference. Just in case. Um, let's put Nero up front. And get some very important training done. Can't go up that way. Gym layout looks different. Looks like a windy maze, like the uh, route to the gym. Okay. Ah, oh, there's gonna be loads of trainers. There are well, there are loads of trainers in Erica's gym anyway. So I highly expect there to be plenty of trainers here too. Weeping Bell. 40. Should be no problem. Ember. It's just the fact that I need a couple of hits to kill things. I mean, I'm a Charizard. I'm full. I'm at a higher level. And it's stab super effective. Oh, I cannot wait till I learn Flamethrower. Come on. Pal Dance ain't gonna do anything. Come on, one more time. Boom. Gloom is done. Level 45. Do we get anything here? Or is it 46? Yep. Yeah. Most likely 46, after all. I'm gonna slap a paralyzed heal on you. put Doe up front for a little bit because Doe could be useful in the gym battle as well there's at least three four trainers maybe five before the gym leader still to go okay but we should be able to get through them relatively quickly Especially with Doe up front. Out, Doe will outspeed everything and probably with its physical attack stat will one shot most things. Case in point. This Gloom is not going to live. It does not. Uh, who's next? Exe Ooh, Executor might live. Wasn't expecting an Executor then. Interesting. Nope, Executor dies too. Joe. Right. There's another trainer next to the gym leader. I believe that'll be the gym leader up there. Okay, Gloom. Yeah, you've got nothing, Gloom. Drill back. Done. Bye bye. See you later. Who else you got? Tangela. 
Again, should be easy. Drill pack. Oh wow, it lived. And then we get poison powder. Pretty impressed. But not impressed enough. Doe goes to level 45. Ooh, try attack. Yes. Stab normal. It's not special in this gen. So it goes up my physical attack stat. That is going to be a monstrous attack. Oh, yes. That is a brilliant move to have. I'm going to slap on an antidote. Rare candy on Nero. Let's get you to level 46. Let's screw it. Flamethrower! Finally! <laughs> get rid of Ember. We have a good fire type move. Yet we're level 46 and still don't have 100 on special. Gonna throw Randy up front for a bit. Because Randy could be useful. He'll resist everything. And if it's a pure grass type, it's going to cause major damage. Parasect. This is bug and grass. So this should be super effective. Not quad effective even. Execute your grass psychic. Might be neutral. Or super effective. It's super effective. Randy with the win. Yeah. Okay, I have two more battles before the gym leader. Come on, we're making good pressure, good time here. Parasect. Easy. Go, Randy. There's only one stab bug move that you can use that would be effective on me, and that'd be Leech Life. And Leech Life is base 20 in this gen, so. Can't do anything. Randy is just dominant. Okay, cut. And let's go. You. Don't bring any bugs or fire type Pokemon in here. No promises. Okay, Weeping Bell. I think this will be neutral because Weeping Bell's grass poison. But if it's anything like Gloom, we'll do big damage anyway. Oh, not very effective. Takes off more than two thirds of its health. Looks like about 70% damage. Ah. Gloom. Another one that won't have anything. Hell Dance ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing, I tell you. 12 damage. 12, that's it. I have rinsed this gym. So we are going to get a gym badge in this episode. I am very confident in that. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. I'm Flora, I'm the leader of Julina Gym. Even though I'm female, I know. Wow! Okay. Sexist much. Men are good in the kitchen too. Case in point, me. And society's come a long way. Women don't belong just in the kitchen. They belong anywhere they want. They can do everything it guys can. As they've always been able to, just impressive men. Putting them down. Let's not do, uh, let's not devolve in uh, the context of the episode into talk like that. That line was unnecessary. It was childish. And it's trying to be funny in a poor way. 
There's no need for lines like that. I've been enjoying the dialogue in the game for the most part. But... That wasn't needed. Right, let's focus on this gym badge. We should have it here. Flamethrower is wrecking things. Sleep powder. Doesn't matter. I have a poker flute. Where is it? There. There we go. And this will be my third gym badge, I believe. Mega Train will do nothing at all. Flamethrower. Bye bye. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. Since you win, you can have this. That is Meg Train. Very nice. Uh, can anyone learn Mega Drain? No, they cannot. And on that note... Ah, uh, oh, I can't use Dig to get out of the gym. That's annoying. Okay, cut. And I've got to cut all the trees again. Cut again. And again. Last one. Oh, it's three gym badges. I'm going to use Doe to fly back to town because I can't be bothered with the walk. And now most of our Pokemon are level 45. Like 44, 45. We should be at a decent position to stand a better chance in the uh, next gym actually we can probably go straight there I'm gonna put Sandy up front for some training he's uh, only one at level 44 actually now switch around there yeah can see if I can't battle a couple of the trainers in the gym before the timer runs out for this episode. There aren't too many trainers in here, but should be fine. I mean, most of them I think are poison types, so uh, we'll be fine. Well, ground type should be more than enough, or not. There, psychic, level fifty. And I don't outspeed. Well, I mean, Sandslash isn't very fast. Reflect might survive this, actually. No, it doesn't. Not even with Reflect. I'm being six levels higher. This Hypno, however, Reflect is going to help Hypno, and Hypno is quite bulky. Psychic's going to do major damage. Come on, live, 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 live. No, yes. Still did 90 damage. And we haven't killed it. It's gone meditate. We can we can win this. We can win this. Yes. Okay. Do I have any healing items? Yeah, I do. Slap them on Sandy. Yeah, I think I can get another trainer battle before the end. This will probably do, though. Oh, wow. There is no way Sandy's taking this thing. We're outsped by Psychic. I mean, 90 damage from a Hypno. Oh wow, we actually lift it. We don't kill it in one. Oh. That's disappointing. What are we going to use? Let's send out our own Doctor Strange. 
probably a mistake. Please use reflect. So I shall use reflect. I'm going to switch to Dragoon actually. Not taking any chances. And this is still going to do big damage, I think. Oh, I did so much. Body slam, come through. Yes. Okay. We have the win, and that will do for the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Don't forget the, to like the Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Links to both will be in the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.